Hey guys, it's Cubix, and today I have a special video for you guys. Uh, lately, a lot of people are struggling to improve, be it sub 30 or sub 20, mostly sub 20. Um, and they ask on the forums, oh, what can I do to improve? And a lot of people just say, learn look ahead or um, learn new algorithms, uh, if, you know, learn full PLL, whatever. Um, but frankly, I don't think that's really that important because you can get sub 20 with four look last layer and no look ahead. Um, it's uh, there's other things to it um, so my approach is basically not learning new algorithms necessarily uh, I mean they obviously help but in the long run it's also going to be cutting old habits uh, that includes cube rotations inserting from different angles things like that um, so in this video I am going to show you one solve that I think is pretty characteristic of people who average around 23 seconds or just over 20 seconds and um, after I show you the solve I'm going to show you the solve again, but I'm going to annotate every single bit uh, that I think can be improved upon, including, you know, you'll see. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm just going to uh, get to the solve. The first classic mistake that I've seen in solves is not planning out your cross well enough. All cross solutions should be 8 moves or less, and uh, during inspection you have 15 seconds to do just that. So make sure you really plan out your cross so that you don't waste moves and you don't waste time. Try to limit the time it takes for you to transition from cross to F2L. Although in this clip the way that it's cut it seems like a really short amount of time, anything that's greater than a second is really really inhibiting you to get sub 20. So if you can minimize the time that it takes for you to find your first F2L pair, you'll be in much better shape. Next, cut down on your cube rotations. You should never have to go out of your way in order to find a pair or to insert a pair. If the algorithm calls for a Y or a Y prime, that's fine, but make sure that you don't do any more than two cube rotations in a solve. And if you have to, okay, that's not as bad. I'm not too much of a stickler on cube rotations, but never do a Y2 because that's just a waste of time and you never have to do that. Just learn the F2L cases from different angles. This next tip is pretty much the same thing as the last one. Don't do cube rotations in order to insert F2L pairs or to pair them up. Uh, there's always ways to do it without doing a single cube rotation, but if you want to get comfortable, then you can certainly do a Y or Y prime if it makes it easier, but never ever do a Y2. Here I was using two look OLL. Although you certainly don't need one look OLL to get sub 20, it never hurts to learn more algorithms. But like I said, cutting your old habits is a lot more important than learning new algorithms. So just learn OLL if you have time and don't make it your main focus. I don't know if you guys caught that last bit, but basically I had an R perm that was already in the correct uh, position, and I wouldn't need to do an AOF uh, for the uh, last part of the solve. But what I actually did was I did a uh, U prime only to do a U at the very end. Uh, in such a case, I would probably just go with the cube rotation because it's a little bit faster and you don't have to waste an extra move. Just following these tips, the solve could have easily been sub 15. Basically, the solve included a ton of wasted moves and a lot of pauses. Pauses are sort of hard to get rid of, so you really do have to practice them. As for cube rotations, that you just have to practice on your own during F2L, during walkthrough solves. 
things like that will generally help you. Following these tips hopefully will get you faster times. Uh, leave a comment below saying if this helped you or not, and until next time, toodles.